This video demonstrates how to use Disperse with Redshift. So first let's go to the Create tab and then drag out a Disperse icon. This will set Disperse up. We've also got four teapots placed into the scene here. Uh, if I bring up the Material Slate Editor, you can see that three of them have the silver preset, which are RGB, and we have a fourth material that I'm going to show you a little later. And that's just set to custom. So let's go ahead and create a disperse. How this works is we add objects to 3D paint. So in this case, let's add three teapots and they are now in the painter. So we have a multi brush and we have a single brush. So if I just paint that in the scene, well, first of all, let's change the brush size. Let's just bring that down to 20 and we'll drop the collision dis distance. So you can see painting in the top viewport, it's relatively very simple. It's, it's a simple tool. Um, but there, that, that is now painting all three objects. It's displayed at the moment as pyramid. So let's turn that to original. So let's fire up Redshift. Um, it's worth pointing out that at this stage, we are only supporting standard rendering. Uh, I'm using uh, Progressive. Um, so we're not supporting IPR right at this stage, but we will in the near future. And then now let's go back over to Disperse. We're gonna set some random transform and we're gonna adjust the scale uh, minimum of 50 and maximum of 120 just to show you some variation we're also going to give it some rotation so full 360 rotation and that is going to apply to every object you have selected so if i now use the multi brush first let's just have a look at that You can see there's some nice variation going on there in size and rotation. Now we'll come over here, let's do a single object, pick the single paintbrush, and I'll paint in the camera viewport. Maybe I don't want that, for example, say so maybe I'll use the eraser and I'll get rid of some of the objects. I'll paint these ones out. See, it's quite a large brush. Um, we go down to a single object. So I've selected teapots, teapot one. I'm going to turn on paint on self. Now what that will allow you to do, say you're painting rocks in a scene or, or some sort of organic object or, or rigid body object. Now I can actually start to paint these up and then that's going to place the objects on themselves. So in the case of this uh, tower of teapots, I'm just going to, I'll just paint some, you know, coming out the side there, a few smaller ones that ought to do to demonstrate what's going on. A few more. Now let's just fire up Redshift. So you can see there's a nice tower of teapots. Um, Worth pointing out, this is not a exercise in how to use Redshift. It's just showing you that our object plugins now work with Redshift. So now let's just scrub out, paint out these objects, get rid of them. Um, I'll turn off the erase on self just so I can quickly just delete all of them. Select that again, scrub that out, paint them out. Or it might be easier to just come down to the and select the original objects and then hit delete. So that's got rid of them. Now let's add the fourth object, teapot 04. Let's just paint that into the shot and I'll show you how the color correction works. So as I mentioned before, this is using a custom preset and it's just got a solid color in the um, you know, sort of yellowy color. So we come down here to color and texture variation. I'm gonna turn on use color shift. 
But first, let's just quickly have a look at what this looks like. Let's turn on our color shift. Let's bring up the hues shift and we'll bring up saturation just to demonstrate how this works. Let's fire that up again and you can see now the hue, satur the hue has been shifted. It's changed the colors. Um, this is a great way of actually say you're wanting to do some color variation on, on materials. So you can actually select the material itself. So it could be the car paint on, on a single car or maybe it's on, on a character, it's the shirt or, or the dress or clothing. Um, if you want to learn more about Disperse, you can go to our help docs by clicking on the question mark. That's gonna take you straight through to Disperse's help docs. There are also training videos there that you can get more familiar on. So it's great we are now supporting Redshift. So yeah, give it a go and um, we hope you have fun. Thank you.